and eating two yards on second down. On the handoff, it's Samuels. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. First down carry for Harris. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll hand it off now to Samuels. And he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos 35. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. 68 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. This is Harris. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. We'll check on his status when we get back. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. And that will be incomplete certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And Boswell's kick is good. And they hung the lead up to four now at 10-6. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little. Maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he's watching that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in, and had just enough to get it done. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. Well, at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Devin Bush. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. Well, that's a down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. Second down, it's Harris. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Wells' kick is good. And that will open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's 2 for 2. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. 
And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. On right, second down, Gordon once more. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. The Broncos on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. And down he goes. The pressure getting to Bridgewater. Stefan to it. Able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. On fourth down, Sam Martin is on to punt for the Broncos. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Najee Harris and the Steeler offense set to go to work once again. Whatever he was doing in September, they're hoping that that carries over now to October because he was sensational last month. He absolutely was, and we all know where it started at the end of last season, right? All the offseason preparation, the weight workouts, the sprints, right? The vision that he had, what he was going to do this season, and of course it all came together with the rest of the team. Those big fellas up front, leverage, and boy, they get downfield creating extra blocks for them. They really are. Everyone's been doing their job so far to create those holes. On third down, Roethlisberger. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Trying to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short, and he is short. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory, and you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. Second and 11 now. Bridgewater, open man, Hamler, that's complete. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Third and short yardage, Bridgewater. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Broncos with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They come up first and 10 at the 16. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. From the gun, Bridgewater. Touchdown, Broncos! Noah Fant, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. McManus's point after is good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. Just a four-play drive that time. All square now at 13-all as he sends this one away. And it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. 
And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Gets this to his running back. That's Jalen Samuels. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. And just a yard to go here on second down. out of the shotgun and they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup that was signal in a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Final play of the half, Bridgewater. That is taking it. 